From plumber man to fiery boy, we have a lot to talk about. What's up, crows? Scarecrow here with Abstract Gaming, bringing you another video today, guys. In this one, we're going to leave our comfort of our Xbox One and travel over to the Nintendo side of the video game industry. And if you haven't been keeping up, they released a Nintendo Direct a week ago on the dot. And guys, they announced some huge games, some remates, some upgrades, and it all looked fantastic. We are going to start out with the Super Mario Maker 2. So whenever I was searching this up, I actually typed in Super Mario RPG Maker 2, just to combine two games and make the search a little harder. But guys, this looks fantastic. If you haven't got the chance to play Super Mario Maker 1 for the Wii U, it is a huge deal, like even today, even though it's like years old, it's still been played. And I, I've been in love with it, but I haven't had a chance to play it myself. But I've just been watching so much content of it lately, and it's just so fun to watch. But if you're a Mario fan, but you think the game has been too easy, here coming up for the Nintendo Switch, Maker 2, Super Mario Maker 2, and it has... So much, so far, we have learned so much new information about it. There are slopes with two variations, so you can get a slightly steeper slope or a slightly less steep slope. They're adding on and off switches and blots. We are getting Koopa cars, the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World. We're getting the Angry Sun. If you're not excited about that, then you probably haven't played Super Mario World 3 and ran into that. Son of a gun. We're also getting, um, let's see. Seriously, we're getting, we're getting clear pipes. The cool thing about a clear pipe, it doesn't quite work the same way as the subworld pipes where you go in and you go to a different world. It's kind of like, if you've played Super Mario 3D World, you can see there's those pipes you go into and they kind of wrap around and take you to higher places or lower places. But they also... At least in this, I don't know if you can get to do that much with it. But you can shoot fireballs into it, and it wraps around and kills enemies that you end up having to run into. And it looks super cool. And seriously, like, go to DualShotters.com. I will link it in the description. And they kind of go over all the in-depth that has been changed in this game. And get super pumped, because it, it seriously looks fantastic. The next game is Bloodstained. So... I'm pretty sure this is a new game. I've never heard of it. And it reminds me... Now, if you're a 90s kid like myself, it reminds me of the old Castlevania games. Uh, the ones for Super Nintendo. I think there might have been one for Play Nintendo. And what was it called? Symphony of the Night? Castlevania Symphony of the Night? That game is just so much fun. They released it on Xbox Arcade. If you're an Xbox and Nintendo fan... Go check it out because this game seriously has that art style. It looks just like it. It shows a character going through and he's taking on enemies. Like monsters. Like, it, looked like, it even looked like he was in a castle. Seriously, it looks just like Castlevania. And I'm looking forward to this. Especially on the Nintendo Switch where I can just take it anywhere I want to. It's going to be fantastic. Like Seriously, uh, this game is so simple. But yet, yeah, I'm super pumped for it. That's, how, that's what Nintendo does. It's simple, but you're really looking forward to it. And that, that's gaming. Like, hands down gaming. The next one is Dragon Quest Eleven. Now, this game's title is a lot longer than just Dragon Quest Eleven, But, it's kind of... <laughs> let, me, let me look at the title. It's called Dragon Quest Eleven S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. So I don't know if it's been out for the Wii U or... I know it's out for PS4. At least Dragon Quest XI is. But this game looks incredible. Like, every, like, all the Dragon Quest games have a art style to it. But in this one, it just... Oh my gosh, dude. It, it seriously reminds me of the old style RPGs slash JRPGs. Like it, it seriously has a Final Fantasy X slash Final Fantasy 2, 3, and 4 look to it. You see these headless horsemen riding through the woods. It's raining. And it just... Oh my gosh, dude. I think this is the one also that has the... Let me see. Yeah, this is the trailer that had the character that seriously sounded like an old Dragon Ball Z 
commercial. I, he, it just, he pulled me in like that. It just his voice. Seriously, use this guy for every try that from now on. It was seriously incredible. But they also had some mini games that reminded me of the old Zelda Ocarina of Time for 64. There's the horse races. But it also kind of reminded me of the old Final Fantasy um, Chocobo Race and all those mini games. They also had a Final Fantasy X uh, level up system. Honestly, they added all this into one game with uh, along with side quests, main missions, a little open world. This game might, if I'm able to get it, might take up quite a bit more of my time. And if it does, expect to see a stream on the channel. I know I haven't been streaming lately, but it's due to illness. But, oh my gosh, and the biggest feature I forgot all about, you can go between the 3D to 2D. If you've never played Shining Force or Shining Force 2 for the Sega, this reminds me of that, and that game is incredible. If you have played those games, you probably had a great childhood, and honestly, I would recommend you get this game because it looks, like I said, incredible. I've been saying the word fantastic too much, and now I'm countering it with incredible. The next game is Yoshi's Crafted World. This is like a successor to Yoshi's Woolly World, and it actually looked really fun. I didn't get a chance to play this game, but I did watch some people play it, and it looked really fun. It was very family-oriented, and it looked like, honestly, people at all ages could pick this game up and play it, and it looked like they were having so much fun. And honestly, that, like I said before, that's what games need to be. I, I remember when I was a kid, and I would pick up uh, Zelda Link to the Past, and uh, honestly, that game changed my mind about video games. Before, it was shooters and side-scrollers like Mario. This added, like, first of all, I had save states. I had, you can go and have unlocks and stuff, and it was just so much fun. I'm, ta I'm talking too much about Link to the Past. But then, <laughs> you go, and you had uh, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, and then they had a part two to that called Yoshi's Island. And honestly, I liked it. I was a kid. My mom liked it. And she was not a kid. And it was just so much fun to go. And that's honestly what Nintendo captures in their games. That really, honestly, no other uh, uh, platform can seem to do. And I'm very glad to see another Yoshi's World coming out. Even all these years later. From Super Nintendo to the Switch. The next game, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, I was originally going to leave this game out of the video, but when I was watching the trailer, I just had to talk about it. This game, seriously, it looks like a Harry Potter fans, just like their niche. I mean, it looks, or niche, how's it, niche, niche, niche? <laughs> seriously, it looks so much fun. They was like in, seriously, like a Hogwarts room, and they were all dressed up, school, like school-based uniforms, and if you know anything about Fire Emblem, it's going to be a turn-based game, which is one of the best RPG style of battle. So Harry Potter meets with Final Fantasy VII? Yes. Take my money. Take, like 60 bucks? Sure. 120 bucks? No. But you made me really miss the game. And honestly, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and this game seriously calls my name, and I probably watched the trailer again because it looked incredible. So I'm really looking forward to that, but not as much as this last game that was announced. So, if you watch the intro, you know I said furry boy, and I've already talked about Zelda twice in this video. We have to bring it up once more for its own premiere. So 1993 to the Game Boy Color came a little game called Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I didn't get to play it on the Game Boy Color, but I did, however, play it on the Super Boy Advance cartridge for the Super Nintendo. And this game, honestly, if this is the one I'm thinking about, it's so much fun, dude. It's the, it's the over-the-top view Zelda style. Check mark. That's already fantastic. It's a Zelda game. Another check mark. Dude, honestly, Zelda is my favorite longest running series. You know, I do enjoy Final Fantasy, but it's nothing compared to Zelda. 
And it kind of shows. A lot of people talk about, oh, games are getting tiresome. Yes, Halo is the same thing over and over and over again. Until now, of course. And then they're talking, oh, Assassin's Creed is getting boring. But, look at Zelda. It can be done. They, they did kind of take out the dungeons, pretty much, in the new one, Breath of the Wild. But, dude, honestly, the game series is perfect. I just said, it, it, honestly, Link to the Past is my favorite game of all time. This one is quite similar to Link to the Past. And the new upgraded graphics of it looks like Zelda 3D World. <laughs> Not Zelda 3D World. Zelda Link Between World. And honestly, it looks great. Honestly, I would just about make a video of this alone. Because of how fun it is. But there was just so much to talk about this week that I just had to make one long video. But guys, honestly, if you haven't done Nintendo Switch yet, now's the chance. If you do have it, make sure you go out and purchase some of these. Like I said, Final Fantasy IX is out now. Super Mario Maker 2 is coming out soon. Legend of Zelda Link Between or Link's Awakening coming out this year. All these from Nintendo Switch. So guys, I think that will be the perfect place to end the video. Now, comment down below. Are you a Nintendo fan? If so, which of these games are you most looking forward to? If your favorite or if your most anticipated game isn't on this list, let us know what it is. But also, guys, like, subscribe, and like always, God bless. And don't forget to watch.